your ability to grow a successful and profitable business really starts with your ability as a business owner to have these conversations, stand in your self-worth, stand on your own two feet and own your expertise. G'day team, Josh here. Hope you've been super, super well. So I want to talk to you about the importance of owning your expertise as an engineering professional. So fresh off a training call with some incredible clients today, and we're talking about, you know, the conversation steered towards, you know, self-worth and like owning fees and variations and that sort of thing. But like if the overarching premise from today's discussion was the importance of owning your expertise and the value that you bring to your client's world. And so like, I see this happen so often, like the opportunity to build an exceptional, profitable engineering consultancy is often thwarted by your ability to have hard conversations with clients, by your ability to feel comfortable asking for fees and variations, by your ability to feel comfortable charging what you're really worth. And so this conversation that I want to have with you today is really around like, if you know that you could be charging more, if you know that you're letting you know, money slip through the cracks in terms of asking clients for legitimate variations when they come up. Like as my, as one of my clients said today, like, you know, we often think, oh, it's just an hour. I'll give it to my client for free, or it's just a couple of hours here. But as he said, like those one or two hours quickly add up to five or 10 hours. Uh, And if you're doing that every week or every month, over the course of the year, that is a lot of revenue and a lot of profit that you're leaving on the table. So if you're the type of person that knows that you could be doing better, running a better business and making more money and making more profit because you're struggling to have hard conversations and own your expertise, then today's training is for you. So what's really fascinating for me, like I'm really passionate about this. I'm really passionate about, you know, adding value to your client's world, doing great work, but also getting paid what you're worth. And so what's fascinating for me as a profession, and I want to kind of dive into this because I think, you know, there's a couple of things that like, if you're struggling with this, there's a couple of things that you're working against here. What's fascinating for me is as a profession, we've gone one way and a lot of other professions have gone the other way. So I use this example with my clients all the time that, you know, 30 years ago, as an example, or even 20 years ago, engineers and doctors or engineers and specialists were revered on the same level. So you, you know, if you if you look backwards in, in history, you know, engineers were put on a pedestal. You know, and we were seen as smart individuals who'd gone to university and we could, you know, design buildings and we could design structures that stood up and we could design roads and we could do all these incredible things with our brains. And we were revered by clients, the general public, all that sort of thing. And we got paid really, really well for that expertise. And what's interesting is at some point along the journey, we decided as a profession that we were going to go down here and do the race to the bottom thing and start to undercut each other and start to become cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Whereas doctors and specialists, they went the other way. They're like, I'm sorry, but we're really good at what we do. If you want to come and see me, I'm a specialist in my chosen field. I've done years and years of study. It's going to be 300 bucks for a 15 minute consult. Imagine if you got 300 bucks for 15 minutes worth of your time on an engineering project, 1200 bucks an hour, like that's pretty good money. So what's interesting to me as a profession is we've decided to go down here, whereas doctors, GP or doctors and specialists have gone this way. And so what's interesting about this is we don't blink or bat an eyelid when we have to go and see a specialist, we know we are a specialist doctor specialist physio, we know we're up for at least 250 to 350, maybe 400 bucks for that kind of console. Because we put those people on a pedestal and go, well, they're really smart people. They're great at what they do. I'm happy to pay that. And as a profession, they've all got around each other and gone, that's the perception we want to create as our profession. And so they're up here. And for some reason, our profession has gone, well, we're just going to undercut each other And we're going to be the cheapest. And what happens then is that happens. And then someone else goes cheaper and someone else goes cheaper and someone else goes cheaper. And then how do you think we're perceived as a profession within our client's eyes? We're a commodity. We're we're just like, I can get it cheaper elsewhere. We're not revered by our clients. 
And so I'm telling you that story because you are working against not only your own psychology and your patterns of behavior and your viewpoint around money and having hard conversations and the people pleasing part of you and the sense of self-worth, you're also working against the fact that our profession has chosen to come down here and clients just expect you to do stuff for cheaper because that's what the whole profession does. And so like, I'm super passionate about this. Like, I guess I'm trying to do my bit in terms of bringing awareness to this conversation. Every one of my clients that I work with, I'm encouraging them to lift their prices, have hard conversations, let go of clients that don't value them, their team and their services, charge more, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I think we've got a lot of work to do, but it starts with each of us as business owners in terms of owning that self-worth. And like I've called today's training, owning your expertise. So that's the first thing. You're kind of working against the fact that our profession has chosen to come down here and we're trying to do great work in terms of building it back up. But that means that clients don't value our time and our services as much as they value going to a specialist for 15 minutes. So that means you've got heavy lifting ahead of you to get charged, to get paid for what you're really worth and to own your expertise. And so then it, it, it's twofold. Like again, I was talking to my clients today, if you're a doctor or a GP that's got, sorry, if you're a doctor or a specialist, I've got to stop using GPs, doctor or a specialist, and you have these patterns of not good enough or people pleaser and you're struggling and you're feeling uncomfortable about charging what you're worth, you are surrounded by a whole profession that says, no, you're at least 300 to 350 bucks for an initial consult. So even if you've got those, pat those patterns of low self-worth or patterns of behavior that are holding you back, you've still got a profession that allows you to charge excellent. Whereas we as a profession have this double fold whammy of an industry that's chosen to, to come down to the race to the bottom and we've all got patterns of behavior that are holding us back. So it really is about owning your expertise and it's really about you as a business owner recognizing that it starts with you. You have to be the one that starts to lead by example for your team and for your clients to go, look, I'm sorry, but that is a variation. And we talked a lot today about like scripting and how you can use scripts to really help you through this. Because again, like if, you've, if you feel uncomfortable talking about money, if you feel uncomfortable about quote unquote, having hard conversations with clients, if you've got that sort of low self-worth, it's driving you and saying, I oh, don't have that conversation with your client. Like what if they leave you? What if they don't like you? scripts and as I call it with my clients, like more tools in your tool belt to assist you with this is really going to help. And so like a couple of scripts that I gave my clients today, which is, you know, things that I, I'm happy to give, give to you in this, in this conversation, but you have to practice them. You have to deliver them with confidence. And so that's when you have to work on the self-worth piece too. So for example, like if you're in a conversation with a client, and they're asking you to do a bit of extra work. Instead of getting all fussed or anything like that, it's a simple, no worries, we can do that for you. How would you like us to deal with that? Alley rates, or would you like me to send you an email with a fixed fee? Simple, done. There is no hesitation in your voice. There is no like, you were just assuming that that is a variation and you were going to get paid for it. So you are owning your expertise. No problem, we can help you with that. How would you like us to deal with that? Alley rates or fixed fee? And then you have to make the client the bad guy or the bad girl in terms of they have to go, oh, I was hoping you do that for free. Like it sounds silly when you say that. So by you owning it from the outset in terms of that's 100% a variation and how would you like us to deal with that? You own it, you have that confidence and you have to make your client the bad person to come back to you and say, oh, I was hoping you'd do that for free. What mostly happens is clients either go, oh, well, don't worry about it then because they were just trying it on with you anyway, or they're like, no probs, LA rates, cool. Like it just depends on your client and their psychology and how they're, how they're wired as well. But it starts with you owning it. That is 100% a variation. We are excellent at what we do. That's going to be extra time. I've got team members that can help you straight away. How would you like us to deal with it? But being able to deliver that in the moment with confidence comes with practice. So practicing it in the mirror, practicing it with clients that are easy first and you work your way up to the harder clients, but you have to stand on your own two feet as a business owner and show your team and the people around you and show your clients 
that you are owning your expertise. We are excellent at what we do. We get great outcomes for you on our projects. If you would like us to do a bit of extra work, that's going to cost you. How would you like us to deal with that? Hourly rates or a fixed fee? And so to get better at this requires practice. And it requires you getting outside of your comfort zone. As, and as I said to one of my clients today, like you won't be able to deliver that statement or that script with confidence unless you 100% believe within yourself without a shred of a doubt that you are excellent at what you do, that the work that you and your team produce is of exceptional high quality, that the results you get for your clients are amazing. And the more you can stand on that foundation of self-worth, of that confidence, which is we are great at what we do. And if you'd like to work with us, you have to pay us. And so the more that you can approach your business and your client relationships and how you run things from that level, that, that foundation of self-confidence and self-worth, the more these, well, the more these conversations just become easier and easier for you because you're like, well, that's fine. I'm not going to waste a day of my team's time on something that I'm not going to get paid for. If you want us to do it, you'll pay us for it. If not, no worries. And so it is that kind of detachment to the outcome because you are so confident what your, you and your team are doing that you don't mind whether the client either gives you the work or they decide not to proceed. But it starts with you. Again, I'll come back to owning your expertise. Why are you good at what you do? That sense of self-worth, that sense of confidence and your ability to, in those moments, have those conversations with clients. How would you like us to deal with this? Hourly rates or fixed fee? So team, I hope that helps. Your ability to grow a successful and profitable business really starts with your ability as a business owner to have these conversations, stand in your self-worth, stand on your own two feet and own your expertise. So Tim, if you'd like to keep building your business on your own, we obviously have heaps of free resources to help you keep doing that. But if you'd like some help, if you'd like to have someone and a bunch of people guiding you on your journey, telling you what to do next, helping you with you, helping you with what you need to do next, and just showing you a blueprint for how to build an amazingly successful consultancy, love to invite you to join the boardroom. So boardroom is a program purely for business owners of engineering, all designed to help you grow and scale to that next level. So if that's you and you'd like some information on boardroom, just send me a message, send me an email, reach out and let's have a chat and sit and have a chat about how I can help you build your business faster. Have an awesome day.